Can you give your dad a kiss? The love Mike Downey has for his two pot-bellied pigs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> is like the love a father has for his children. They're my kids. They have their personalities. They love cuddling. They, uh, they love eating. Come on, come here and get the food. Downey got his pigs, Athena and Vishnu, as babies. I know you pee on the carpet, but it's okay because <laughs> I love you. In the three years they've lived together at his Vic West home, he's taught them a few tricks. Synchronized spinning. From dance moves. <laughs> yeah, go team. <laughs> to handshakes. Team before. Oh, good boy. And even a few words. He says mama. <laughs> yeah, good boy. He always says mama. <laughs> My intention was to get the smartest animal that I could think of, and so I got these pigs, and yeah, they proved it to me. This is their area. But after three years together, a neighbor complained about the smell and the pigs had to go. For two weeks now, they've been living at a friend's farm in central Saanich. Yeah, I cry. <laughs> uh, it sucks. And uh, I just want them back because um, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> That's that, you know. Pot-bellied pigs are considered farm animals and so not allowed under the City of Victoria bylaws. There's not a single farm in North America that farms pot belly pigs for food consumption. So how do they lie under the uh, Agriculture Animal Act? That's what I'm trying to ask the city. Councillor Jeremy Loveday says there isn't movement at City Hall to look at this part of the bylaw, but suggests Downey make a presentation to council. We do have a lot on our plates at City Hall right now. We've got a lot of major projects underway, and so it would need to go to the strategic planning review and see what work would have to be put aside to make this uh, a priority. This is reserved for piglets only. He wants to keep his pigs in the city, but if the city won't budge, then he will move. I'll do whatever it takes. So uh, I'm not about to give my kids up, uh, <laughs> my pigs. A family that's been temporarily separated oh, is now boy. fighting to stay together. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing over there. Yeah, well, there's not so many distractions.